and welcome to you my youtube channel vb automation tutorial point if you are new on this channel so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel to get the updated videos so guys in this video we will learn or we will you know just talk about that how to make the dynamic dep dependent drop down in an excel with the help of vb code right guys so without wasting my time i'm go to the excel sheet all right so here i have a you know just two drop downs that is a combo box you can say that combo box one and combo box two right so here you need to go to the developer tab here that is right and go to the insert right and go to the activex control so here i have used the you know just active control so basically to do the coding right see the x activex so here we have a two type of control that is form controls and activex control so for this i have used activex control that is it this is combo box so i have click on this that is india's and that is for districts so here if you are you know just if you are unable to see the developer tab in your microsoft application so you need to you know just say uh, we can say that's a add into the menu so just click on the file just click and after that click on option and after that customize ribbon so here you need to check it out and just add it developer in your excel menu here right so what i want guys actually here i have a two state that is up and uk from the of india's right so once i click uh, you know just up once i select the up so this content will be shown right in this district uh, drop down and once i click on uk so this district will be shown in district drop down so how would i do that so for this i'll simply write a code so i'm just click on f11 and just what i'll do i'll, I'll delete it so here what i need to do i need to perform a this workbook open event so i'm just click on the this workbook right and click on this workbook and here i am performing a this action while my workbook is open right so now what i'll do is i'll simply combo box combo seat one dot combo box right dot add item here i am adding up and here at seat one dot combo box dot add item that is uk right guys so i have added up and uk right uh, we can say that in this combo box right so now what i'll do what i need to do i need to perform an action right so on the you know just on this uh, changing event so i just click on that so here i'll perform the event change event right on the combo box events right while i'm changing the content in combo box so it uh, you know just my action will be performed so now what i need to do i need to first combo box to i need to clear the content from the combo box to first now i need to apply if condition if combo box one dot value equal to up right then what i need to do i need to perform a dynamic you know just uh, we can say the drop down so in that case i need to find the last fill row with the help of last row that is sheet one dot cells right and i need to pass the rows dot count i need to pass here the column name so i have a column that is 10 right here is a 10 column so i need to pass it 10 and that is and uh, yes and excel up dot row right guys so with the help of this we will find the 
a last fill row dynamically so for this i need to for a loop i equal to two to last row to add the item in the combo box too so for this combo box two dot add item right seat one dot range here i need to pass the j column j and i and here i need to pass the next right this is for you p else if i need to add a else if condition else if combo box one dot value equal to uk then i need to perform this action again i just copy and paste i just change the reference that is here 11 because it's a uk 11 column right it's an 11 and here i need to change the k that's it here i'm just saving it right so i have you know just written the code to make the dependent drop down in excel that is dynamic right so now what i'll do is i'll simply i need to close the code right to perform to show you the output I'm just uh, save and now what i'll need to do i need to open it reopen it So now what I need to do, I just check it out here. You can see that's UP here. Once I select the UP, okay, here's I need to, and if right now, yes, now you can see that here only the Noida here's you can see that once I select the UP state, so now you can see that this district are showing only in this drop down you can see that right once i change it to uk now you can see that here only the you know just uh, these districts are showing right here so guys uh, this is all about that you know just uh, drop down and dependent drop down and we can say that the dynamic dependent drop down in excel right guys so if you have a any problem right so creating a dependent drop down and all that so write your comment in the comment box i'll get back to you on that guys so guys thank you thanks for the watching